Hey everybody, how's it going? We're ready to continue with Diablo 2, and we're going to start the quest Betrayal of Haragath, which is to take Anya's portal into Neela Fox Temple. So let's go! Could this be a trap? Find Neela Fox in the halls of Vought. There's a bunch of dead bodies here, but we know they're the, uh, the ones that come back to life. So we'll wait for them to wake up and start hitting them with fireball. charge attack on the Haras. But they are tough enough to beat him. Especially if I give him a healing potion. Thanks. There you go, you guys give up. <laughs> no, that one doesn't. Anyone else? <laughs> keep get getting up, I'll keep knocking you back down. Alright. You are up here to kill. And the har has gained a level. That's right, stay down. We're gonna head in here. Take on defiled warriors led by Bindle Skin. Spire Enchanted. Now, Bindle Skin used to be an extremely popular uh, enemy to go after because he had a drop rate that was on par with like the highest. So, on Hell difficulty, he would have the ability to drop just about any item in the game. So, people would usually uh, leave uh, Neelothok alive and not bother coming into the hall so they could just keep killing Findle skin over and over again. But that's not our goal here. I've got plenty of decent gear for finishing the game on normal. So we're going to uh, make our way through these halls and find the right place. Rondell is the knife, yeah. Golem Master. Oops. I picked the knife back up. Put it back down. Now we just have to find our way through these halls to the uh, stairs. Right now we're in the Halls of Anguish. You know what happens in the Halls of Anguish, don't you? Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna listen to star. <laughs> oh, hello. I got plenty of healing, I'll use one now. Walked right into a Minotaur and a bunch of undead. Yeah, this place is really big and it's like a maze. Oh, but I found the floor to the Halls of Pain. I'm getting really lucky because usually I get lost in these areas for a long time. Let's see if I can get lucky again and find the waypoint down here real fast. Here's a Putrid Defiler. You'll see it put this uh, weird aura on the uh, prowling dead, and when it dies, it spawns a flesh worm. What's funny is we only fought the flesh worms uh, on recording when we fought the Dark Wanderer's flesh worms in Act 3, but there's a type of monster that appears in Act 4 which uh, spawns them every... But we never actually fought that enemy on recording, it randomly never appeared. <laughs> it did appear and I went back and did Act 4 a couple more times to grind XP off recording. I think they're called uh, Stygian Hags. Most people just call them spawners. More unholy corpses. Fireball and Leharis will get him. There's the stairs to the Halls of Vought, which is our stop. But first, let's find the waypoint. How? Oh, hey, a circlet dropped. 
I need mana. I think there was a bit of a delay in the using the mana potion. I pushed the button to use it and then tried to use my uh, fireball. Yeah, I ended up using two mana potions. A couple unholy corpses aren't going to slow me down. Let's see. Don't need arrows or split mail or anything like that. Death brawlers. They're also on top of a mana shrine. Which is bad news for them. That means I can go ham with fireball. <laughs> this got anything? It does. Alright, what else we got? Watch out for the trap. Yeah, just started a fire. Grab the gold. We'll teleport over here and keep searching for the waypoint. There it is. Alright, finished uh, selling those items in town. Now we can head to the halls of Vought and deal with Nilafok. Don't think any enemies will get in my way, so I'll just head right to the stairs. Resist Lightning Shrine is down here. Grab that Rejuvenation Potion. Now, Nilafok is down one of these uh, four hallways. It's kind of like the Arcane Sanctuary in that regard. And I'm not always uh, lucky enough to find him on my first attempt. And this time I found him on my first attempt. <laughs> Who needs map hack when you have luck like mine? Neela Fox right over here. I gotta watch out though, because he casts Corpse Explosion on enemy corpses. This can actually make him really deadly, especially on uh, higher difficulties. On Hell difficulty, his Corpse Explosion will do massive damage. Oh no you don't, you're not putting me in a block of ice. I'm gonna put you in a block of fire. Your power was no match for mine. That's right. Poignard. I guess he's not going to drop me anything. Maybe it's because he died while standing in this lantern? I'm not sure. I think I can identify it. Six to strength. Not that helpful. Talk to Anya before you continue through the crystalline passage, past the glacial, glacial trail, and proceed up Mount Arya to the summit. So I return to Haragath, and let's see what Anya has to say. You have stopped Nilothok, but he didn't have the relic. He must have already given it to Bale. Now Bale will not be tested when he reaches Arya's summit. <sighs> Damn Nilathok. <sighs> I do thank you for trying, though. Please, allow me to honor your courage by magically inscribing your name onto an item of your choosing. It's the least I can do. Alright, so she gives you the option to personalize an item. It says Anya will personalize an item for you. Good morning. So when you select it, we can choose one of these uh, items in our inventory to make into a... I'll show what it does. I'm gonna take the leaf staff and do this. So we'll choose to personalize it. You'll see it becomes Leaf, Casina's short staff. <laughs> I think it would have made more sense to call it uh, Casina's Leaf, but that works too. It still has all the same uh, stats it did before, it just happens to uh, say specifically that it's Casina's staff. And doing so completes the quest. 
This says I found Neolithoc much faster than I thought I would. Let's start the next quest. Every time I hear of you, warrior, your deeds become more legendary. But take heed, you are approaching the very summit of Mount Ariat. I have never dared venture there. It is sacred, our most holy place. The legends say it is guarded by the Ancient Ones, who block the path of all who are unworthy. Your reputation here does not matter. It will be the Ancients who determine your worthiness. Good luck. All right, so my next quest will be Rite of Passage. Travel through the Ancients' Way to find the Ancients at the Ariat Summit. Let's ask uh, Anya about this. You wouldn't have to test yourself against the Ancients if it weren't for Neolithoc's treachery. He was a fool, and deserves to suffer for eternity. So because of Neolithoc, the Ancients are now going to work against me, the person trying to stop Bale, instead of Bale, the Lord of Destruction who's trying to corrupt the World Stone. I've taken the waypoint back to the Crystalline Passage, since that's the next stop. I have to head to the Glacial Trail, which we found previously. Found a ring. Anything over here? Resist fire? I'll take it. And one thing I didn't mention about the uh, succubus enemies in Act 5 is that they can cast uh, curses on you. The curse they've been casting on me and Leharis have mostly just been uh, reduced defense. Now if my uh, health was higher, if my mana were higher than my health, they would try casting a special curse on Casina that causes you to expend health instead of mana when casting spells like Fireball. But because I got plenty of health, they, for some reason, don't do that. That's fine. Kara's go get him. Ours is hiding from him. <laughs> That's fine. I still got him. I got healing potions. You'd have been fine. One of them dropped some light gauntlets. <laughs> Kick open some jars. I found a key. Don't think I need keys. Nope, I got a maxed out keys. There's more uh, moon lords. Give a healing potion to Laharis. Grab all the goodies. More moon lords. Funny, he thought he'd be able to catch me. I've got so much uh, speed on. <laughs> Let's see, with, between this, my 30% run walk, and this, I basically run 50 time, 50% 50 faster. <laughs> so into the glacial trail. More reanimated uh, horde skeletons. See if any of them wake up. There's a waypoint here in the Glacial Trail, which I'm gonna find before we move on. There's another mana potion. Leave Laharis alone, he's just doing his job of distracting you until I fireball you to death. There we go, two quick fireballs will take out a death slasher. Thanks. I should have uh, made some full rejuvenation potions. Oh well. I think I found the treasure room in the glacial trail, which is guarded by a unique uh, one of these skeleton knights. He's up here somewhere. Bone Saw Breaker. He's magic resistant. He just wasn't resistant enough. I am overburdened. 
There's a mall here, which I'm gonna want to pick up. And a breastplate. We'll take them both. And we'll check in this chest, which for some reason was locked, but I had a key. More gloves, a razor bow, and some other assorted uh, items. Alright, let's keep looking for the Glacial Trail Waypoint. I gained my level. I'm level 30 now. Let's see, I'm gonna put the points into energy, and then for my thir level 30 skill, I'm gonna put it into fire mastery, which makes all fire damage 30% uh, uh, more powerful. Rune Scepter, huh? Three to vengeance. That'll sell good. Exceptional Scepter with three to Vengeance, which is one of my favorite Paladin attacks. It's a swing that'll do the physical damage of your weapon, but also an attack that deals uh, fire, cold, and lightning in one hit. So no matter what your enemy is immune to, chances are your Paladin will be able to hurt them. Yeah, you look like you need a heal, Aharaz, so I'm gonna give you a potion. We're gonna kill these champion death slashers. Alright, all good there. There's a path here to the Drifter Cavern, which is an optional area. It's very similar to where we found Anya in the Frozen River in the previous part. Oh, hello. He went down, thanks for the ring. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Still looking for the waypoint to the glacial trail. out on terms of my, uh, inventory. I can't carry. Alright. Sold all that stuff off and made room of inventory. Got that key. Yeah, the ice attack with the Frozen Terrors and the one Nilafok used on me are actually a druid skill called Ice Blast. Or what was it called? Now I can't remember the name of it. Now bear my Arctic Blast. It's essentially the Inferno skill, but instead of fire, you shoot a uh, cold uh, at them. Another mana Shrine. There's the way to the Frozen Tundra. That's where we're going uh, next. Probably in the next part, since finding the Glacial Trail waypoint is taking me longer than killing Nilafok did. after the uh, quests I complete in them, but I don't know, I already completed Betrayal of Haragath. That'll still be the title of the video, it's just 
kind of amusing that I'm going to spend more time uh, in this ice cave looking for the glacial trailway point. Right, let's teleport through the wall here. There we go. And there's the waypoint, of course. Alright, we're about 20 minutes in, so I think this actually will be my uh, stopping point. In the next part, we're actually going to uh, travel to the Ancients' Way to find the Ancients at the Ariat Summit. We still got quite a distance to cover to get there. You'll see I have to get through the Frozen Tundra, which has a waypoint. Then we reach the final Ice Cave, which is the Ancients' Way. And once we get to the through here, we'll be on Mount Ariat's Summit, where we'll have to take on the Ancients in order to break it to the World Stone Keep for the final quest. So I'll be stopping here for now. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.